talk about tonight's game. <laughs> like, what what your your initial uh, thoughts? Let me tell you, this game was not easy. We got the goals. Uh, some counter attacks when we caught him, we caught him on the break, and we finished because we have uh, the. Uh, that uh, goal that Rachel scored on that, that was a great counter attack. Um, the other one with Steph, the last one, she, she took the ball away because of pressure or work. And we were, it was a good ball that she played for the first goal. Um, other than that, I mean, we, they were not, we had chances, they had chances, but the bottom line is who, who puts them in the net, that's the thing. Yeah, the team's been kind of getting off to fast starts in recent games, but tonight it was kind of a slow start. Not much really happened until the last oh, 30 seconds. Oh, it wasn't. Seconds. I mean, they started hard. I mean, they're a good team. They they possessed the ball. They came on. They gave us a few things on the first part of the first half and part of the second half, at the beginning of the second half. They had... Emily had to come out big. Yeah. But you need this. Uh, they, it's not... We know it's not going to be easy. We got to be in the games. We fight. We got to defend everywhere. And that's how you're gonna get your the points and win. Yeah, can you talk a little bit about Emily Armstrong's performance? She really stepped up in the first half tonight. She's been stepping up the whole season. Yeah, she's a very she's a quality keeper. She kept us in the game in down in, in uh, Texas. She made some big time saves and she made some big time saves today. How nice was it to see Tori get her first career goal tonight? Yes, yeah, she, she was getting closer and closer. She, uh, she goes, she attacks, but it was a great ball by Steph, though, right in the middle. And I think they had uh, changed the keeper, so it was a kind of miscommunication between the last defense and the keeper. So she didn't. We took advantage of that situation. Uh, USF is obviously a talented team coming this weekend. What do you anticipate from that game? Uh, they're kind. Both are kind of the same teams. They have some foreign kids, good players. They possess the ball. Um, they. It's going to be the same kind of game. We have to work to get to get through that game. Also, uh, they uh, they won, so they're going to be. It's going to be a tough team, and we have not beaten that team for uh, the last two two years, I think. Yeah. How do you um, open and penetrate the defense like this? That's very uh, on top of your players. When Rachel or Stephanie had the ball, they were like against four players. So how would you contract that? We we have to go out wide, and we did. We play out wide, or. We caught him on the counter attack, on the break. We got the ball, and that that second goal was big time goal. That make the I mean that make the difference in the game, because they they were pounding on us, and all of a sudden we get the ball, and those two quality players, they connect, and there is two nothing. So psychologically, that's very difficult for the other team to really, what they're gonna do. What sort of halftime adjustments did you make? You guys seem to possess the ball much more in the second half. We, we talk. We got it. Number one, we were like, we got that goal the first half, which is give us a little bit of lead away. So we say we got to defend really hard. Second half, if we get another goal, it would be great. But we got to concentrate on defense. But you know, we did. But they they had some great shots. Some corner kicks, they came very close to tying the game. Yeah, Emily had a great beginning of the second. Yeah, game. exactly. And then that second goal, as I'm saying, that changed the game. How did that Toriana Patterson score? Because she's been playing so amazing this year. So she deserved that goal so much. So it was just such a relief to know that we had one in the back of their net. However, knowing that, in my mind, it was still 0 0, and I couldn't be complacent at all. 
um, given the fact that UCF is such a talented team, they were going to have chances and they had to be ready. Yeah, I guess same thing kind of coming up the beginning of the second half. You know, UCF came really close to tying up the game right off the bat. What was it like to get that really crucial save and then see your team get the second goal? That's pretty awesome. You know, um, after making a great save, my teammates have my back. They're coming over congratulating me. And, you know, it's my job. So while it's awesome, you know, I'm just doing what I'm what I'm meant to do as a goalkeeper. But it definitely feels good knowing that I've maybe contributed to getting some energy behind my teammates and getting them to go forward and score that second goal. You had eight saves tonight, definitely one of your busier nights. Uh, how do you feel as though you played tonight? I thought I played pretty well. I'm pretty happy with myself. It was a good game. Um, had a, a little slip up, but you know, that happens and then you just recover and shut out to shut out and it's a pretty great feeling to know that I worked for it with my defense as well. Without them, it wouldn't have been a shutout.